team. Excited. Oh, Hello. Happened? Hyped. Can yeah. you hear us? Hello. Yes. Can okay. you hear and see me? Well, we can hear it. I think, Charmer, it, I think you... it just, uh, no, just popped it up. We, there we, we got you, Hyped. Hello, there hello. We go. Hyped, you're, uh, you're right. smiling for the, for the first yeah. time since the start of this tournament, huh? Yeah, I don't like uh, to, you know, count my chickens <laughs> before they hatch. I keep it calm and focused until the match is over. Well, first and foremost, congratulations. Uh, very you. solid performance throughout the entire event. Uh, we've said numerous times on the desk that uh, we felt like you were playing... Uh, very, very tight, very uh, well, very few mistakes. Um, how how confident were you coming into the event as a whole? Um, coming into the event, I wasn't as confident. Uh, I had a pretty good deck, and my group was a little bit easy, but I knew it was going to be a struggle in the top 16. And then then I saw Strykos' de deck with the leather armors, and I knew that was the deck. Um, <laughs> I happened to actually know the person that made the deck, except for I didn't know he made the deck at the time. So I contacted a friend, his name is Matt Jess, or Alan Poker in Twitch, and asked him for, uh, I forgot even how, why I messaged him in the first place, but he's like, oh yeah, you know that Strepco deck, I made it. And I was like, okay, cool. And then uh, I was like, can you coach me on how to play it? He's like, sure. And uh, this guy, I don't even think he was in the beta, but right when the marketplace opened, he played over 100 games of Storm. And I, I played very little Storm, I played a little bit back in the day, but I didn't really know how to play it. But he coached me up to speed in one day, and taught me all the intricacies and how to play One the deck day. on the next level. Yeah. Could you run us through why you included the leather armors or what the purpose is in the deck aside from just the survivability? Okay, so the, the number one reason is uh, just, just to be able to cycle the Blink Dagger. You just, Blink Dagger is just very, very important. That way you could like, yeah. well, we all know Blink Dagger is important. So the Signet Ring, that one more gold, it adds up. Uh, the, other, the other reasons are... It's not useless because with our Drow Ranger, our Ogre Magi, and our Zeus are all our seven HP heroes. The leather armor protects from Duel and Berserker's Call against Axe and Legion, so it's it's pretty good there. And then it's pretty good with Diabolic as well. So yeah, and even the Tree and Protector is right into like that Phantom Assassin attack range. Yeah, <laughs> except that that always happens on turn one anyway, so you don't have the leather armor. <laughs> but yeah. I saw you taking notes throughout the whole tournament. You had like a paper next to you. What mm -hmm. was going on with that paper? What were you kind of, you know, taking down throughout the games? So Valve is going to add something where you can see the gold, but I just, I just write down the gold to track it just so I don't forget it. And then the other thing I write down, which I would actually recommend to anyone is uh, if you make a misplay and you know you make a misplay, I just write it down that way I don't have to think about it or else it's stuck in my head. So I write down the misplay. <laughs> where I'll come back to it later at the end of the game. And that actually helped me a lot. It's pretty interesting. So I got to ask about the list. Do you, do you see this as being the strongest or one of the strongest lists in the game? And like, what other directions do you think it might be taking, potentially? Do you think it's counterable? Um, yeah, so it, there is sort of a counter in the works, except for the counter only beats this deck. So mm. until the field, so it's horrible against the field. But if the storm dominates the field, then the, meta will, the counter will start to work its way in. Um, but yeah, the, the, it's all still new, so it's... It remains to be seen. Um, and then, sorry, what was the other question? Uh, I mean, do, do, do you expect it oh, to yeah, be the, the basically like the strongest list? Uh, yeah, we, um, me and Frozen were testing the mirror a bunch because we thought there'd be a bunch of mirror in the top 16. So that's why there's three ags in there. But um, if people try to go aggro and faster to beat it, which I don't know, I mean, Hoy's list is kind of like as fast as you can get. So I don't know if people are going to go in that direction, but you could just throw in a third any cost. That card is nuts. Um, and then other than that, we'll see. Did you did you feel unfavored going into the finals? Like when you saw Hoy's list and you saw he was going to be your opponent? Because that to me is like the one deck that might be able to beat that. Um, 50 -50? I actually play tested with Hoy the day before randomly. <laughs> and uh, we just played one game and I destroyed him and he was like, oh, I guess he can't beat that deck. And I don't know if he was sandbagging <laughs> me or something, but uh, so I, wasn't, I was pretty confident going in. Well, that... I was actually Sunspan, a Sunspan says you're really handsome, hyped. Oh, thank you, Sunspan. I think he's a <laughs> handsome man as well. I was, so, uh, yeah, I was more scared of Stan Sifka's deck because I figured he had more experience against Storm, and I figured he built his deck to beat Storm. And I know Legion Standard Bear is scary. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you about the event itself. Uh, did you enjoy it? I mean, this was the first constructed, you know, artifact tournament. Um, is this something that you would recommend for the future? How would you like to see things improve? Oh, it, it exceeded my expectations. And I'm not just saying that because I won. Even on the first day when I saw the stream, 
very high quality, way better than I expected the first time. And so props to uh, production and we play. And you think the format yeah, was fine as well? The casting, the casting was impeccable. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the format was fine as well with the, the kind of GSL groups and then the playoffs being single, elim single elimination? Do you think there was you know, something to improve or do you think it was, it was fine as it is going forward? Um, I mean, double elimination doesn't hurt if we want a longer event, but I mean, it's fine if they want it shorter, so. All right, well, uh, that's it from us, unless you have any last minute final words that you want to throw our way. Or any shout outs? Uh, no, just thanks to Team Liquid, uh, Matt Jess, who helped me a lot, and also Gara and Frozen, who helped me practice a bunch as well. All right, well, congratulations again on your win. Impressive showing. Uh, I imagine we're going to see a lot more of you in the future. Thank you.